Okie dokie. This problem is very, very similar to the other number line problems that came before this that we've gone over. So uh, feel free to check those out as a kind of a reference if you have not already. In this case, we are given F double prime, known as the second derivative. And we're trying to first identify these IPs. These are known as inflection points. And inflection points are the x values, are really just the points on the function, for which f double prime is equal to zero. In other words, if we're given the graph of f double prime, it'll be the points where y equals zero. In other other words, we're finding x-intercepts, just like we were in the other number line problem. So that will help us distinguish between like what numbers to actually uh, look for on these number lines here. So we're looking for x-intercepts first. So let's start there. 2.65 looks solid because that's an x-intercept of f double prime, therefore an inflection point for f, or a possible inflection point, really. Um, but it's definitely an inflection point when the concavity changes. So CCD and CCU is the next thing. So before I get ahead of myself, let's eliminate some options here. The number lines with 0.85 are incorrect because 0.85 is not an x-intercept of our curve. Neither are 445 or 795. So we eliminate options C and D. So now, CCD and CCU, similar to when we saw the graph of F prime, we are focusing on where the graph is positive or above the x-axis to identify where f is concave up. And we are focusing on where the graph of f double prime is negative or below the x-axis to tell us where f is concave down. So whenever f double prime is negative or below the x-axis, the original function f is concave down. Whenever the second derivative is positive or above the x-axis, f is concave up. That's the idea. So again, starting at this x-intercept at 2.65, going all the way to 6.15, we see that this function is above the x-axis. Therefore, above corresponds to concave up. Therefore, f is concave up, CCU, from 265 to 615. And so b is our answer. So let's try another example without a bunch of stuff written all over the place. So the short version, we identify the x-intercepts to help us identify these correct values down here. 1.85 is not an x-intercept of the curve. So this is out of here, and the other one with 1.85 is out of here. 0.55 makes sense because it's an x-intercept. So is 3.25. And so between 0.55 and 3.25, the question is, is f concave up or concave down? And that's dependent on whether this function, f double prime, is above or below the x-axis, respectively. f double prime is below the x-axis between these two inflection points, these two x-intercepts. And when f double prime is negative or below the x-axis, that means f is concave down. So concave down between those two values leads us to option D. If you have any questions, please let me know.